Frequency tables of discrete data. Frequency tables are a terrific way of organizing and recording raw data. Key terms we are going to use are frequency and tally. The survey re results for students' favorite color is shown below. Frequency, frequency refers to the number of results for a particular outcome. Refers to the number of results for a particular outcome. What is the frequency of students who said green was their favorite color? In student terms, this just means the number of students who chose green. And in this case, it's 12. What is the frequency of students who said yellow was their favorite color? So there we go, there's yellow and it's six. In student terms, this is the number of students who chose yellow. When you obtain data, it's usually a mess and needs to be organized. Uh, in this example, we are going to organize the raw data, which is this data right here, into categories, because this is an example of categorical data. All right, so one student said orange was their favorite color. So we put down orange, purple, yellow, orange, Okay, the frequency for this is six, three, six. In this section of the clip, we're gonna use frequency tables for discrete data to find the mode. Remember that the mode is the most common occurring number. So frequency ta tables can allow us to calculate the mode of a data set. Okay, so once again, we'll organize this into a um, frequency table. So we'll go zero, zero. I'm going to be too fast forward through this clip, but a good idea would be to have a go yourself doing this in your exercise book. So the frequency we've got is six, four, five, four, one, four, zero, and five. So in this case, the mode is the mode is six zero. Sorry. Mathletics example. Um, in mathletics, this frequency tables look like this right here. X just means the number of numbers. So if we were going to um, represent it in our tally table, it would look something like this. So in this case, the mode would be 22 because there is 19 lots of 22. I hope this helps. Cheers, Jacob.